so uh, Marine and Cowboy are about to go into their last set of fulls here. Cowboy, how are those feeling? Not bad? Now they're getting hard? What about the first two rounds? Yeah. So now they're in these final rounds. Here goes Marine. In these final rounds, what's being challenged really is their, uh, their recovery. They've got the essential strength to, to, to blast through two or three of these. Nice, Marine. Perfect. A little deeper there, Cowboy. Come on now. This is where the struggle comes here. Nice work, guys. Nice work. So we're almost at the top of our progression. We're at five rounds and then uh, two, five rounds of fulls and then two rounds of minis. Nice work, cowboy. Nice work. Keep plowing, keep plowing through it. Keep plowing through it. Good. Good. That way, Monica. Nice work. Good. Nice. Very strong. Good. It actually takes quite a bit of mental fitness to transition without any break or without any pause between just go right from jumping lunges to jumping squats. It's, it's terrible. Nice work, guys. Nice work. So now they're just down to two rounds of mini leg blasts. It's pretty easy. Extend those hips. They're Riggins and Marine working through their uh, core circuit. They got three rounds. Starting out 30 second front bridge. Or actually 40 second front bridge. Next they're moving to uh, kneeling slasher to halo. The thing about the kneeling slasher to halo is it's a, it's a shoulder mobility as well as a torsional core circuit. So we want to get some rotation in your shoulders while your hips are square. So Marine here, her, her hips are staying square to, to our, the far wall here. And then she, she's rotating her shoulders around her, around her hips, which are square. So that, that creates that torsional strength right there. <clears throat> and then she's touching the back of her neck with the kettlebell. Yeah. She's working a little shoulder mobility. Yeah. I didn't realize how much I could relate. Nice, good work, guys. So that's five each side, ten total. And then their next movement is the loaded EO. EO is another rotational movement. So they hold it just slightly off their chest right there. And they, they rock back and forth while they uh, rotate their hips and shoulders. These two are pretty good at it, even though Reagan sucked at this whenever she first started. <laughs> I've got the video evidence of it, Tess. I can, I can show you. <laughs> nice, good. So it's ten in each direction for those, and then uh, the the final movement here uh, for their round is the Russian twist. Here's Captain doing it. His feet are elevated, he's just rotating uh, over, making a triangle. So come back up to the opposite side, yeah, there you go. You know what I mean? So it's it's back, right, left, right, and then left, right, left. Or left, right, back. This was too hard for me. This <laughs> yeah, you're a snowboarder, I forgot. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll see if the Harvard grad's got it. Right there. Uh, easy work, yep, no problem. Good. So we're doing uh, we're doing uh, ten of those or six of those. So just every time you make a triangle, it's one. Right back to the front bridge. So we're in our last round here of uh, five. Thirty-five seconds each station. They have three stations. Their first station is the touch jump touch. What we really want is a big explosive movement out of the hole, big jump. Nice middle fitness, Captain America. First to him, man. That's nice, Abby. Here we go, Kim. This is a, this is a really pretty grueling circuit. Takes a lot of mental fitness. They're showing it here. Let's go now. Keep driving, athletes. Keep driving. Two, one, transition. Quick transition. Let's go. No rest. Get to the bar and hit it. Pick it up. Get it overhead. 
Very strong, Captain. Nice work. Good. There we go, Sam. We're having them do 20 inch box we're jumps also. We're not really concerned about getting them getting their hips extended. What we want yeah, is that, Martin, that explosive movement off the ground. Oh, as yeah, many times as they can, just trying to get the reps in. Come on, get it, get it, get it, fight it. Nice work, guys, nice work. Almost there, keep driving now. Two, one, transition. That's it, get there, come on now. Outstanding, good. Better way to hit it, Tess. Come on, Riggins. Nice work, Marine. Very strong. Outstanding, Cowboy. Keep driving, Captain. Keep driving. This is it right here. This is it. Come on, now. Nice work, Jovi. Two, one, recover. Good work, good work. I see it pretty worked. So their wrist period here is 60 seconds also. Nice work, Jovi, good. So we're this last part of this little durability circuit here, uh, working glue medius. Captain here is working on uh, the band walk. We started out at five meters. A lot of our athletes were able to progress all the way down to their ankles with our with our highest tension strap. So now we've gone to 10 meters. And you can see Cowboy here, she's had to move it back up to her knees. So increasing the distance is just another way to progress this movement for our athletes especially. We've been working with them for so long and We've been hitting this uh, pretty much every week consistently. So they've really adapted to it. Then we're having them do the Nordic hamstrings. Jovi here is our, our best athlete at it. He can pretty much lower himself all the way down and back up. Good, good, Jovi, good. You got all of them? Good.